This video is going to show you how to enlarge shapes. We'll be looking at enlarging a shape with a positive integer um, scale factor, finding what the specific enlargement is between two shapes, if you've already been given them, and then if you're sitting the high tier paper, we'll look at when you've got a scale factor which is a fraction or a negative number. So first of all, here's your example exam uh, question. We're looking at enlarging shape P, which is the yellow rectangle here, by a scale factor of 2, that means we're going to make it twice as big, and it's from the coordinate 5, 4. So this is when you have to enlarge from a point rather than just making a shape bigger. So first of all, we're going to have to find this coordinate at 5, 4. So along the corridor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up the stairs, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to mark my centre of enlargement there. Now, if you're ever going from a point, what I would always do is draw on, uh, I call them uh, ray lines. So from this centre of enlargement, you want to draw a straight line using your pencil and your ruler from that point to every single vertex of the shape. Okay? Try and be as accurate as you can because we're going to use these to check um, our solutions. Um, when we've got our answers, well, when we've drawn our new shape earlier. So that's the first two. Now we're looking at, let's go to this bottom one. So it's going to go through like that. And I, oh, as you can see, just go as far as you can on your page. So however much space the exam gives you, don't stop your line early, go as far as you can. Okay. So from this point, which is our coordinate 5, 4, we need to enlarge by a scale factor of 2. So we need to create basically four more uh, vertices. So this bottom left-hand corner here, to get to that point from our centre of enlargement, which is 5, 4, we have to go across 1, up 2. So I'm going to go across 1 and up 2 again. So that's the scale factor of 2. If it was a scale factor of 3, I'd go across 1 and up 2 again. I'd do it three times. Again, uh, from the centre of enlargement to get to the top left corner, across 1, up 4. So I'm going to go across 1, up 4 because it's a scale factor of 2. Again, if it's a scale factor of 3, I'd do that 3 times. If it's a scale factor of 4, I'd do that 4 times. Bottom right hand corner, I'm going to go across 6, up 2. So across 6 and up 2. So that's that one there. And then this point here, across 6, up 4 across 6, up 4. And as you can see, I mean, you might be out a little bit, but these new vertices that we've got should lie on the ray lines that you've drawn. So then if you join those up, you should end up with, which you know isn't accurate, we should end up with a new rectangle which is twice as big as the original one. And then we've been asked to label it, so make sure we do. And we're going to label it Q. So depending on, as you should be able to see from these ray lines, depending on where these lines go from, depending on what the centre of enlargement is, um, this rectangle would end up in, in different places. Okay, the second uh, type of question is if you are, you, well, you already have your enlargement, we've got an enlargement of A to B, and the, the example question that I've got here is to find the full enlargement of shape A to shape B. So that means so we need to know what the scale factor is, we need to know um, where the centre of enlargement is. So like before, you go to the vertex of one shape, and you join it up with the vertex of the other. Again, go as far as you can across the page, so bottom left corner joins with bottom left corner. Uh, bottom left, bottom right corner, sorry, joins with bottom right corner. And we don't need to do the final one because you can see where they've joined, but let's do it just to show you. Top right corner with top right corner of the shape. And you should see that they all join at approximately this point here. So we can say that the enlargement, this is what you'd write in your exam, we have an enlargement from point, so this point here is along the corridor 2, so coordinate 2, 
zero. And now we need to say the enlargement. So the height of the first rectangle, well, the original rectangle A is four. The height of the next rectangle is eight. So that's going to be uh, enlargement from point two zero um, with a scale factor. Of two uh, and that's all you need to write so what if you're taking the higher tier then so this is uh, section three now if you're taking the higher tier paper and you have to enlarge by a fraction or a negative scale factor so looking at the example question we need to enlarge shape T by a scale factor of 0.5 from point A label the new shape U we know that if we're enlarging by a scale factor of 2, it gets twice as big. A scale factor of 1 is just the original shape. So hopefully you can guess that going from a scale factor of a half will make our shape half the size. So let me show you how to do it. Again, we always do these ray lines from the centre of enlargement through to the vertices of whatever shape we're drawing. Then rather than counting up and then going on, we're going to count how far we need to go, but then we're only going to go half the distance to create the, the, new, um, the new shape. So from point A to get to this bottom left-hand corner, we need to go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that means I'm going to go across half of that distance, which is 3.5 each way. So three and a half, and then three and a half. So you can see we end up in the middle of that square there. To get to this point, we need to go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we're gonna go up two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So that's gonna be uh, six and a half, and three and a half. So it's three, six, and a half. Now to get to this point here, I need to go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then up 2, 4, 6, 7. So again, we're going to go across 6.5, and, and then up 3.5, so it's going to be there. And as you can see, because we've got a square, we know that one, the next point's going to be there. If I then join those up, you should see that we end up with a square, which is half the size of the original, which is where the scale factor of a half comes from. And then we must remember to label it uh, U, because we've been asked to do that. So there's our new shape, and it's half the size of the original T. So if that's what fractional is, then well, what's negative going to be? A scale factor of negative 1. We know that a scale factor of 1 is just the original shape, so we know that the size of the shape wouldn't change. Um, if it was a scale factor of minus 2, the shape would still come out twice as big. If it was a scale factor of a negative 3, again, the shape would still come out three times as big, as, as it would with positive enlargement. This is all The negative in this scale factor is all to do with where the shape ends up. So again, like always, we're going to do our ray lines from the vertex of the shape to the centre of enlargement. This time I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go past this centre of enlargement A. Again, so from this point now, um, going through here. Again, go as far as you can. And then from the top right hand corner and then from the top left hand corner. Okay, so again counting squares like I did last time. To get to this bottom left hand corner I'm going to go to the right one up four. So the opposite of that, going an enlargement of negative one is instead going to the left one 
and then down four. So that's our new vertex here. To get to the top uh, left corner, we go right one and up six. So we need to go left one, down six. Uh, this one here, we're going to go across 6 and up 4. So I'm going to go left 6 and down 4. And the final one, top right corner, I need to go to the right 6 and up 6. So I'm going to go to the left 6 and down 6. And again, you can tell that you're, we know that you're doing things right. So you can see each of these new um, vertices lie on the um, the ray lines. So joining them up with a ruler, you end up with a rectangle which is exactly the same size as the original rectangle. It's just the location of this rectangle is different. So shade it in and we need to label it U. And, uh, and that's all you need to do.